Hey guys, happy go lucky here, back for another maths question of the day. Today we're looking at the 2020 Specimen Paper 2 IGCSE, it's extended questions, and we're coming to the end of the paper now, so the question's getting a little bit harder. Today's questions are on using the rules of indices. The questions are as follows. Part A, simplify 27x to the power of 6, in brackets, to the power of a third. And part B, find the value of, open bracket, 64x to the power of 4, close bracket, to the power of a half multiplied by 4x to the power of minus 2, just like that. There's five marks available for just these two parts of question 27. So press pause, have a go at it, and I'll be back with the work solutions in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, back with the work solutions. So I'm going to jot down first of all, some of the rules that are going to be important for answering these questions. The first one being, if you've got a base to a power, and you multiply by a base and another power, then it's the same as having the same base and just adding the powers together. That might come in handy. Also, if you've got a base to a power, and outside the brackets you've got another power, that's the same as multiplying the powers inside and outside and while we're here as we're going to be multiplying to the power of a third anything to the power of a third is going to be equivalent to cube rooting that number i think that's everything we need for these questions so let's crack on first part then 27x to the power of six to the power of a third so the first job let's do 27 to the power of a third. So as we know, anything to the power of a third is a cube root. So we want to first do the cube root of 27. In other words, what cubed is 27? So that's easy enough, gives us three. So part of the answer is going to be three. Then we've got the second part of the question, x to the power of six in the brackets to the power of a third outside the brackets. So that's where we can use this rule here. Where you've got two numbers you just multiply them together so x to the power of six to the power of a third is the same as saying x to the power of six times a third well six thirds is two so we get x squared at the end there so put it all together you get three x squared one mark for the three one mark for the x squared okay moving on to part b then find the value of 64 x to the power of four to the power of a half multiplied by four x the power of minus 2. So again, let's start with the 64. To the power of 0.5, in other words, the power of a half, that's very similar to the third rule. So if anything is to the power of a half, rather than cube rooting, we just want the normal square root. So the first job, 64x to the power of 4 to the power of a half, we just need to do the square root of 64. So the square root of 64 is 8. And the second part, x to the power of 4 to the power of a half is the same as saying x to the power of 4 times a half. 4 halves is 2. So the first part is 8x squared. But the question carries on. We've got to do 8x squared multiplied by 4x to the power of minus 2. Not much more needs to be done with this, actually. We don't need to fiddle around too much. We just need to break it up into the numbers and the x parts. So numbers, we've got 8 multiplied by 4, and then we need to multiply x squared multiplied by x to the power of minus 2. So when we do 8 times 4, we get 32, but when we do x to the power of 2 multiply x to the power of minus 2, that's the same as saying x to the power of 2 take 2, which is 0. And another little bonus rule then we need to use here, is anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 32x to the power of zeros is the same as saying 32 multiplied by 1, which is obviously 32. So there's your answers. 3x squared for the first one and 32 for the second. The three marks for the second one come from firstly finding 64 to get the square root to find 8, secondly to find the x to the power of 0 
by having x squared multiplied by x to the power of minus 2, and then understanding that x to the power of 0 is 1, so 32 x to the power of zeros is 32 ones, which is 32. Okay, hope you enjoyed those questions, and I hope you learned something from them. I've been Have a Go Lucky, and you've been simplifying using the rules of indices. Good for you guys, thanks for watching, see you again soon, bye!